Hello, I'm Dal Bartling, and I certainly hope that you and yours are having yourself a sunnier, warmer day. And we're getting more of them all the time, aren't we? Well, yes, the older I am, the more that I think. And I think that at times, maybe due to culture, it becomes hard for us to acknowledge our humanness. We all know the five senses, right? Smell, sight, things like this, okay. But there's also the sense of humor. Yeah, sense of humor. Hearing a good joke or, or seeing good old-fashioned uh, uh, comedy, visual comedy, like maybe years back with me, Red Skeleton, and then the story time, uh, Jonathan Winters, then Robin Williams, and it's a sense of joy, the emotional feeling of, uh, of joy, isn't there? There is sometimes a sense of anger all the way to maybe the sense of jealousy, covetousness, and the sense of sadness. As I said, some of those, it seems like it's hard for us to acknowledge that part of our humanity, humanness. The sense of sadness. Yet, in the Bible, you will find Jesus, Jesus had a sense of sadness. Jesus wept. Shortest verse in the Bible. Jesus wept. He cried. Crying is a, a natural human response. Yet culture will say to us what? Things like, well, there's no sense in crying over spilled milk. Oh man, I love milk and cookies. Ooh. Oh, I was so excited about that milk. Dalton, Dalton, look at me. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't cry. Dalton. What was that? What's happening? I told you not to cry over spilled milk. <laughs> Or, big boys don't cry. Or, there's no crying in baseball. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Oh. Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Why don't you leave her alone, Jimmy? Oh, you zip it, Doris. You know, in crying, there are three types of tears. One group of tears that this fantastic body and yours produces is kind of basal type of uh, tears. And those tears are, are there to kind of naturally lubricate <clears throat> your eyes. And in fact, again, with maybe our cultural us being in front of that computer screen so much, it's causing some of us to get dry eyes. And so they give us stuff that is called artificial tears, artificial tears. Another tears that the same uh, <clears throat> ducks can produce are then more of a health defensive type. If there was a lot of dust in the air or different elements, our eyes would start to tear up to help fight off that uh, foreign element there. Then the third type, and that's maybe the type that culture <coughs> talks to us about, is then the emotional type. And it can be uh, the emotion of joy 
or it can be the emotion of then of, of sadness. When a baby cries, many times they don't they cry long enough they'll start to tear up. But the baby's crying to communicate to it. Hey, it's time to change me or feed me. Or uh, cuddle to me. Baby is communicating by, by, by crying there. I remember uh, the first time that I went to Panama, in which we had discovered my birth mother along with my family. And oh, there was a lot of family members there that very first time. But I can close my eyes and I can see me meeting my mother for the first time. That was a joyful, emotional crying by a lot of people there. Uh, another time, uh, going to the same destination of Panama. Uh, LaDonna and I were going to a wedding and it was one of the first times then besides the initial, <clears throat> maybe the second or third time that we went to Panama uh, of a family get together, but this was a wedding. And so the, fest the festive mood and all the things that comes with it, with, with a wedding. And we had planned that and we were going to, to Panama and we get to the airport here and uh, I check in and part of the check in of course international as I show them my passport and uh, Donna's right after me she shows them hers her, her passport and they say I'm sorry man this is going to expire now it had not expired but it was going to expire you may know this we did not uh, there are certain countries that if your passport is going to expire within that time frame. Some will say 12 months, others might say 18 months. Uh, then you cannot enter the country. LaDonna immediately says, well, you go ahead and go and I'll stay. Well, that, that wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna cut it. And you see my nature, in my analytical nature, I thought I had all my I's dotted, T's crossed, from everything from arriving in Panama, getting picked up with a limo, uh, meeting the family, being with the family, taking a limo with some of the family members over to where the wedding was and everything was then <clears throat> arranged. And I had not checked in the passport. And so we couldn't go. That result of that action then was such that I cried. That was a, a sad cry. Some of the results of, of crying uh, is, is to me fantastic the way good Lord made our made our bodies. Uh, I did get a white paper. It's entitled The Benefits of Crying. So analytical me, I had to then you know look a little bit further, okay? One, of course, as it says, it's a human response. It's a human response. It's what makes us human. That particular act that we do. The good Lord showed us. Shortest verse in the Bible. As it says, crying should never be looked at as a symbol of weakness. From the time we are born, <laughs> It has always been a sign that we are alive, that we are alive. So research has shown crying can relieve stress for a whole week. If you cry once a week, it'd be good for you for a week. It helps you have a less stressful life. It has a positive impact on your sinuses. That emotional crying, either it would be joy or, or sadness. Uh, have you noticed where sometimes afterwards you have to blow your nose? You bet, your nose is running. It connects there. It's helping then on a positive uh, impact there. Crying is also then in studies shown that it helps us with our sleep. 
It helps us with our cardiovascular system there. It helps with our high blood pressure. All of that with the emotion of, of crying. <clears throat> also in the white paper it says, don't forget that crying is an important way that we can show our emotions. It helps us show empathy for our fellow, fellow man. I love this saying here. Those who do not weep, do not see. Those who do not weep, do not see. Some of the earlier things I could think of that I cried of was, uh, I made it a point being a kid uh, living on the base, they would have uh, Saturday matinees for kids. And as soon as we would go into the movie, before the movie started, you still would stand and then they would play the Star Spangled Banner. Then they would play the movie. One of the movies I remember was put out by Disney. And I think it would fall in the category of movies that you call tear jerkers. Tear jerkers. The movie, Old Yeller. Do you remember Old Yeller? Yep. And they had to, they had to put him down. And he, and because the result of that was of Old Yeller protecting the family. Much, much later in life, I remember as a part of a ritual, uh, my son and I would go see <coughs> movies on Saturday afternoons. One of them that we saw was Schindler's List. And oh, when we got back to the car, I cried. One of the first times, uh, early times, he probably saw me crying. And I cried and I later uh, <clears throat> in the car then explained that his grandpa, my father, was part of the Second Army Division and part of their duty during World War II was then to go to the concentration camps. And that, oh, some of the uh, pictures that they had taken and that he had some of them actually had an album that as a young man I would look at. And how that then uh, would kind of come together emotional wise, uh, particularly that day that we saw that, that movie. Uh, it was, I guess, what you would classify again as, as one of the uh, tear jerkers there. So do you have the opportunity maybe once a week to cry? I hadn't in quite a while, but I have different habits, folks, and that's one of them. How do I do that? Uh, well, let me uh, share with you. There is a website, and that website is entitled Cry Once a Week. Cry Once a Week. And that's all one word. Cryonceaweek.com. Doesn't cost anything. And what you can do is you can go in there and they will then show you short vignettes. Some from movies, which I would again call maybe the tear jerkers, but others are, are not. <clears throat> also, the uh, vignette I saw uh, th this week was, you've maybe seen them a little bit in snippets and Facebook or whatever. Uh, it was put together a collage of service men and women coming back from deployment and, and when they come to see their families, their families don't know that they've come back that soon. And so they're usually in their uniforms and they're meeting their, their spouses or their, their sons and daughters. And oh, uh, that, that, that can be a teacher. I can relate to uh, that particularly that uh, when Sergeant Major Bartling was deployed to uh, South Korea. <clears throat> there were indeed tears when he left, and there were uh, just as much or more tears when he came back, when he came back from that deployment. So uh, it shows that we're, we're human, folks. A crying can be a, a, a pressure valve that can release and makes things less uh, stressful for us. So, acknowledge our humanness. 
of the different senses that we feel, including the sense of sadness, the sense of joy, the result being weeping or, or crying. So, go forth out there and enjoy that sunny or warmer day. Know this, folks, I am rooting for you. Yes, I am, because we are in this together. And being together, we can say this, blessed are they who ease the pain of misfortune, for they shall be called insurance agents. Don't forget your handkerchief and have a sunnier, warmer day. Take care.